In this video, we're going to help you add a Gradwell extension to your SNOM phone. At some points of this video, a fast forward icon might appear in the lower right hand corner. This is to speed things up if you've already done a certain step or know some of the information already. All you need to do is click on it to skip to that section of the video. Configuring your SNOM phone is really simple once you have all the information you need to set up your extension and only takes a few minutes. We're going to be using your web interface, which we'll access using a web browser on your computer. First things first, you need to get your phone plugged in and set up. If you've already done it, hit the fast forward buttons that have just appeared on the screen now. If you haven't done this already, simply plug in the Ethernet cable that came with your phone into a spare port on the back of your router. If you're using a switch, plug it into a spare port on that instead and then connect the other end to the socket called NET on the bottom or back of your phone. There is usually a port next to this called PC, so make sure you choose the correct one. Power up the phone and leave it to boot up. If you purchased your phone from Gradwell, you may have asked for an extension to be automatically configured onto the phone. If this is the case, the phone setup is complete and you just need to wait a few minutes for your phone to initialise. If you got the phone from somewhere else or you wish to add another extension, then carry on watching. As your phone is all plugged in and set up, you need to collect a few details to make configuring it really easy. You will need to know the 7 digit internal number for the extension you wish to add to the phone and the extension password. If you know both of these, click the fast forward buttons now. If you don't know these, you can get them from your Gradwell control panel. In your Gradwell control panel, select extensions from the left hand menu. This will bring up a full list of extensions on your account. If you don't know the password for the extension you wish to configure, select it from the list and then click reset password on the configuration page. Your password will be displayed just the once, so make a note of it now. It's quite long so you'll probably find it easiest to copy and paste this into a program such as Notepad on your computer. To access the web interface of your phone in your web browser, you will need to know the IP address of it. If you know this, feel free to skip now. The IP address is displayed briefly when your phone is powering up. If your phone is already turned on, you can usually find it with just a few key presses on your phone. The method you use to find the IP address will depend on the phone you have. Some of the popular SNOM models are shown here. Feel free to pause this video now whilst you find your IP address. If your phone isn't shown here, check the instruction guide that came with it or type the phone model into a search engine, for example, SNOM 300 IP address. The top result in the search engine will usually be the instructions on how to get the IP address displayed on your phone. Once you have the IP address, make a note of it. The final thing you need if you purchase the phone from us is the MAC address for your phone. This is unique to your phone and never changes. If you didn't purchase the phone from Gradwell, you can skip this step. We use the MAC address of your phone to set a password to the web interface. This helps us protect your phone and keep it secure. We use the last six digits of your MAC address as the password. You can find the MAC address by carefully turning the phone over and looking for the number underneath the barcode on the white label on the rear of the phone. Make a note of the last six characters as we'll need them when logging in. Now that we have all the information to hand, it's time to open up a web browser to get your phone configured. You can use the same web browser that you use for your general internet browsing. Click in the address bar and enter the IP address of your phone. Click enter once you've done this. You'll then get a login prompt. If you purchase the phone from Gradwell, the username will be admin and the password will be the last six digits of your phone's MAC address. If you didn't purchase the phone from Gradwell, then the username and password will both be admin. For security reasons, it's very important that you change this to prevent unauthorised access to your phone. Now you're logged in, you can configure your phone. In most cases, you'll want to select Identity 1 from the left hand menu. However, if you want to add an extra extension alongside one already on the phone, then you can select a different identity to use. We're going to use Identity 1 for this extension. Click into Display Name first. This is your own name for the extension and is also displayed to the person you call when you make an outbound call if their phone supports this feature. We're setting this phone up for Amelia, so we'll enter her name here. 
Next, we enter the seven-digit internal number in the account field. And paste or type the extension password into the password field. In the registrar field, enter sip.gradwell.com. If the IP address that you used to log into the web interface started with 10, 172, or 192, then we need to enter nat.gradwell.com colon 5082 into the outbound proxy field. In the authentication username field, enter the seven digit number for the extension again. And if you want to, you can enter text that will be displayed on the phone screen whilst it is idle. This can help you identify the extension if multiple identities are configured on the phone. Click save and the setup is complete. Your phone should now work for outbound and inbound calls. If you do have a problem, the fix is usually quite simple. If the phone won't register, it's often because the extension number or password is incorrect, so double check these. You should also ensure that the seven digit extension number is in both the account and authentication username fields. Entering it in only one of these won't work. And make sure that the registrar field has SIP gradwell.com in it. If you get odd audio problems when you make or receive a call, such as not being able to hear the other person, or they can't hear you, make sure that nat.gradwell.com colon 5082 is entered in the outbound proxy field. This fixes most problems straight away. If your problem persists, contact our support team for further help. Once you know what you're doing, configuring a SNOM phone with a Gradwell extension takes just a few minutes. Don't forget that you'll find the process much easier if you have the phone powered up and working and you've made a note of your Gradwell extension number and password, the phone's IP address and the MAC address if you purchase the phone from us.